Airbus is an airframer, so it manufactures airframes, which are obviously aircraft, and it has a full family of products. It operates in a duopoly with Boeing. Uh, Airbus's products are ranged from the smallest product is the Airbus A220, all the way up to the Airbus A350, uh, which is their biggest product at the moment. The most popular product is the Airbus A320, which is its most important product by some distance. It's a single aisle aircraft that oper operates on short haul routes, and it's really the workhorse of most airlines, is either the Airbus A320 or the competitive product from Boeing, which is the Boeing 737. So what's interesting about the airframers is that their customers, who are the airlines, have to reduce their carbon emissions. And really, the only way they can reduce carbon emissions is by purchasing new, much more fuel efficient aircraft. The current generation of most, the most fuel efficient aircraft are somewhere between 20 and 40% more fuel efficient than the old generation. All these airlines need to replace their planes and only 20% have been replaced so far. So there's huge demand simply from replacing the current planes with more fuel efficient planes. And on top of that, there's growth in the number of people who want to travel and the amount that we travel. I heard from Greg Hayes, who's the chief executive of a company in the US, who said that 80% of the world's population has yet to set foot in a plane. So there is huge demand still for travel, and that leads to further growth for these companies. The addressable market for both Boeing and Airbus is huge, particularly in the short haul sector, the single aisle sector we were talking about, the Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737. Airbus themselves have an order backlog of around 8,000 planes. Now, in 2023, they're going to produce something like 720 planes. That's around 10 to 11 years of production that they currently have in their order book without any further new orders. So the demand here is absolutely massive, simply because the airlines want to become more fuel efficient and there is growth in traffic because people want to fly more. We're not worried about demand at all. The issue really for Airbus is whether they can increase their production rates. So at the moment, their workhorse is the Airbus A320. They produce around 50 Airbus A320s per month. They've committed to get to rate 75 per month. Now that's a 50% increase, which actually logistically is very difficult to do because a plane actually is a very difficult thing to make with thousands and thousands of parts that have to be brought together. The issue is not demand for Airbus, it's actually operational execution as to whether they can get from 50 to 75. The Airbus A320 is a much better product than the Boeing 737, which is its competitor's product. And as a consequence of that, they're winning far more orders than Boeing are. We think that they will see this rate of production of the Airbus A320 go from 50 to 75, which is a 50% uplift over the next few years. On top of that, they'll get some pricing. So we can see 50 to 60% increase in revenues over the next few years, simply from the Airbus A320. On top of that, it's more profitable as they make more of these aircraft and particularly as they go for things like the long range variants, they're more profitable. We see a much greater than 70% increase in profits over the next few years, which we think will lead to a big increase in the share price over the next three or four years.